been through a lot. Uh, I've been through adversity in my life, so you know, I'm really thankful. Uh, last year, you know, we exited the NIT the first round to have a chance to play in March and uh, be on that stage and experience March Madness. You know, it's called March Madness for a reason. Uh, we've been exited a round earlier, we've been not even made it. So I'm so proud of you guys. Uh, we came into the conditioning last summer with the goal of taking advantage and making this tournament. And, uh, you know, we did that. So we have to be proud of ourselves. And even though we're upset that, that we're not going to Los Angeles next week to play in C16, uh, just got to understand uh, value our blessings and know that uh, everything uh, is a process and it happens over time. And, you know, I can't say uh, how proud of how proud I really am of my teammates, and my brothers for life. And I'm just thankful for this day. Chelsea said you felt like the best team that you've been. Oh, I agree. Um, you know, if you're really watching the game, man, we, uh, we defended very well. Uh, they're a very good offensive team, and uh, they were having a, a really hard time scoring on us. Um, you know, maybe they could have been some foul calls that maybe would have changed the game for us offensively. I know there was a point where they scored about 10 straight points on free throws. Uh, crazy shot at the end. Uh, March Madness at its finest. Is that another reason why it kind of hurt you feel like you went in with a game plan and it worked? Oh yeah, it definitely worked. Um, you know, we, we didn't really beat ourselves. Uh, we had a very good uh, offensive team in the, in the Big Ten that's on an 11 game winning streak. And we made the Made it real, uh, made life really hard on them. The offensive end, where they really uh, succeed and make make teams look silly at times because they execute, they make extra passes, and they have a point guard that gets in the lane and uh, gets their guys open threes with a lot of good shooters. How do you think you guys have handled this? What have you said to Devin and maybe some other guys? Uh, you know, we just told Devin that you know we love him. We would have never made it this far without Devin Davis. Uh, true beast, works hard, uh, pursues rebounds like no other, and uh, he's just tough. He embodies our culture and. Uh, love him. Uh, we just smother him with love. Can't let him beat himself up. Uh, you know, maybe if I would have made him one more shot or I missed a free throw, maybe that would have won us the game. So no blame on Devin. He did his part, more than his part in the past two seasons. And uh, we're just super thankful that we had, even had a guy like Devin on our team. How do you think he's handled everything? Um, you know, he's, he was really harsh on himself at first. Devin's a, a really fiery competitor. He goes hard and he has a lot of fight in his heart, big heart. And uh, man, he was really hard on himself at first. We had to, we had to snatch him up and make him understand that hey, you know, this isn't on you. It's on all of us. We're all brothers for life. And, uh, you know, we just love you.